Hi everyone, it's Marlene and Shelby from Pastime Pieces in Blenheim, Ontario, Canada. And boy, did we get blasted with snow. Um, we got a ton. So basically, Wednesday before Christmas. Wednesday? Oh, no, no. Started Thursday, Thursday I think, morning. or whatever. And then so Friday and then part of Saturday, like our major highway, the 401, was closed um, for about a two hours, two hour stretch of highway. Um, yeah. Tilbury to London, Ontario was yeah. completely closed down. Closed. And then the road that we live off of was just, it got packed with vehicles. And so that yeah. stopped everybody else from going through there. Um, our family all made it. They weren't coming really till late Christmas day. And, um, so they called ahead of time. Bill went out and checked the roads and was able to, Ooh, that's really wobbly. Um, was able to find out that they could get through. Our grandsons, they didn't have any snow where they were. They were in Bowmanville, which is about three and a half hours away. So as soon as they got out of the van, they put their snow pants on and outside they went. And we didn't really see them much the whole weekend between that and jumping in the hot tub. Um, yeah, they got tunnels everywhere um, through all the big snow drifts. So, so they, they had a really good time. Just as an example, like I drive a truck and when I, I came over to see Marlene because my property wasn't that bad and I don't really register bad weather, I just drive in it. But uh, the mounds in her property, I was telling my husband, were like up to the, like past the window of the door. Like yeah. I could barely see Marlene coming from the house to the <laughs> shop. It was, her property yeah. got it pretty good and it all froze solid. Yeah, so. I think it just didn't, this time just didn't blow across yeah. the property because we don't have hills or anything, but we do have tree lines and whether it swirled and then just plopped down in certain spots, but it was yeah. pretty, but yeah, it was pretty. <laughs> yeah, it was very pretty. And, uh, I mean, it was freezing cold, so you couldn't spend a lot of time outside, but now it's, it's mild. So it's melting, it's melting, melting, and it's like major mud. So I do not enjoy that part at all. So, but yeah, we've been busy doing a few um, things, catching up on a few things. And so we thought we'd first go through um, what else was in the box um, for Advent. Um, every, I mean, everyone was so great. Like I got so many emails okay. from people of how much they like the box and stuff. And yeah, so that was, that's really nice to hear. Um, so what else was I going to say with that? I guess, oh, I forgot to say like, oh, welcome. It's floss tube. We can, floss I think it's 10, 10 I think. Mm -hmm. um, today is December 29th. 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 Um, yeah, thanks for any, for all those who subscribed. I know that the, the numbers are going up. I see Yay. on my email more people are subscribing. So that's great. So hopefully we can, I, I just feel like January, it's kind of a fresh start again. And, and just to kind of figure out more of exactly, you know, yeah, what do we yeah. want to do? What do we want to share? Um, I think most of it's like, we like to share our different ways of finishing and, and completing and things like that. And mm -hmm. yeah, new charts that are coming out and fabrics. Um, so thanks for everyone that's watching. Um, so yeah, we'll start with the advent. We left off at number 12. We 12. That. Number 12. Sure that's 13. So number 13 was a, a floss bed that I had made out of some Christmas fabric. I know it's one thing that I didn't have yet and thought like, oh, this would be really handy. So um, yeah, so I've been using mine. So for anyone that doesn't know, you just put your um, leftover pieces of floss here so that if you're going to go back and use that color again, you don't have to put it back on your floss drop. You can just kind of find it in here and it keeps all the threads together so they don't make a big mess in your bag. So this one you can put in with your Christmas projects and that way you know you got Christmas threads. Uh, number 14 with just some snow buttons. So yeah, you literally, you know, can put them anywhere on any of your finishing um, they're really handy and they're the sew through buttons. So, cause I find the ones that have the shank on the back, they kind of stick out too much and that doesn't work. So I have to crinkle cause this one, I didn't want to lose the bits and pieces. Oh, is that the, the oh, cause where's my, oh, here. Oh, right there. So this was 15, like 15. number 15. So this was all the pieces for this little ornament here. 
that I stitched on perforated paper. So and then um, the shapes in that you can buy at Michael's. They've got a few different shapes. So I painted it and then just added some other uh, raffia. Oh, um, yeah, so stitching on the perforated paper is easy. I did put a couple notes, I think, so stitch it first and then um, not right up to the edge and then trim and then just finish off your stitches. I messed up a little bit there, so I literally stitched around the edge of the perforated paper so it looked like it was finished to the edge um, and then just adhered it. But yeah, you can yeah do absolutely anything with um, the perforated paper. You could actually cut out the shape and fill the whole thing in with the design. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just something else um, that you can kind of play around with. Everything is in here to finish that ornament. All the pieces. All the pieces, the bell twine. And then 16 was? 16 was a sulky white thread. Um, Did I? Oh, I did. Because um, I wanted to try it on some count just to see what the coverage was going to be like. Because I know the red works great. Mm -hmm. um, so I just was going to start an ornament. And so I just did a few stitches. Um, and this isn't, this is only 32, but it's Lugana. But it's covering not too bad. So I think for, you know, things that have a lot of white, um, it, um, yeah, will probably work out. And it's just easy because the threads don't twist or mm -hmm. anything. Um, it works well, out really like, nice. Like 36, you get really good coverage on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So if it was a 30, I can't say I like working on Lugana. Much. I find it really hard, you know, like that linen. I can definitely pick up the two threads oh. and stuff, but this is like the even weave. And I know a lot of people go from Ada to even weave, um, but yeah, I think it's another one of those things. Is it you have you to get stitch your... in hand too. Yeah, yeah and I think it it's like another anytime you switch to something else, mm -hmm. you have to get your brain trained to kind of get used to it. Um, so yeah. That was 15, 16, uh, 16, 17. We're on 17? 17. Was that the candle? Yes, yep. 17 was the candle. 17 was the candle. Um, so my daughter, when she got married, she decided to make a candle for everyone um, as a thank you gift or whatever you call that. Um, so she bought some of the soy wax and mis we kind of miscalculated. So we ended up with boxes and boxes of candle wax so then I thought oh I'm gonna make some candles and stuff too so they're homemade um, now they've got this splinter kind of um, wick here and I know some people um, are having trouble lighting it you have to be persistent at first like I probably you know kind of hold the match there and do it about three times sometimes for it to catch and then um, after a while, when it kind of burns down a bit, sometimes it doesn't have like enough air or whatever. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it just kind of melt the wax around a little bit, the wick, and then just dab it with a paper towel. And then um, you can light it again. So, um, but yeah, it's soy wax. And I didn't scent them too much because I know some people um, have a problem with um, the scents being strong. And so I think I basically used um, lavender or vanilla. And I kept it fairly mild. So, yeah, just kind of a little as you're stitching, you know, kind of that candle burning. Mm -hmm. uh, so then we're 18. 18. 18's the combination of the corner gauge, um, some wood buttons, another one of these little buttons that we used on the ornament that are really cute to just put on the end of a scissor even as a scissor mm -hmm. fob. Um, yeah, it's just kind of some more little finishing things. And then the corner gauge, for those that don't know what that is, is that if you're, normally you kind of go in two inches and down two inches, and that's your starting point if you start on the, on the sides. Some people start in the middle. Uh, but if you start at the side, it's just you kind of grab this thing, and then you, you don't have to always have a ruler. Um, and it kind of gives you where your two inch margins are. Oh, and these are some pins. So, yeah, I just came across how to make a little matchbook cover thing to put pins. And then Shelby made the made the pins. This one just has two. I think we put three in. Didn't we put? Or did we just? No, maybe we just put two in. So, yeah, so they're black and red. And so they're just nice to stick in a pillow um, as a decoration. 
And so they're just very pretty. This one is really good for couching. <laughs> oh, is it? Because you can oh. hold on to the ball. It's kind of a bigger one. Oh, and then so. yeah, count over your stitches. And, and then you can mark stitches. it. Yeah, because yeah. it kind of has marking marking pins. Mm -hmm. um, so then you can leave it there and then stitch till you know you get to the right spot. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those are really cute. That's a cute one. That was 20. And then... That was 21 was the clip. Oh yeah, so where's do 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 oh here. Oh so there. yeah, so that was the the hook. Um and then I stuck a piece of paper to kind of show you, but this is the finished one that I I showed the finished stitch design and so the the one that the chart that it came off is on the last video. Um, it's a prairie schooler and then yeah so then basically you just hook this on and you cook it onto a tree you can hook it anywhere um, uh, we use them a lot for the wool ornaments as well they work really well for that so yeah so we always carry those in the shop but I thought that's kind of a really handy okay, yeah. handy thing so this 21 22 was the no that was 22. 22 um some finishing fabric and the little um tomato i really wanted to make a project using this um tiny modernist just came up with a pattern i have them on order um it's got a really cute pin cushion uh christmasy pin tomato and i thought it would be cute to um stitch on half of the pillow have this dangle down on the other side of the pillow and then just finish the back or whatever with the fabric. So, so yeah, I, you know, we do that sometime. <laughs> it makes cute strawberries too. Oh yeah, this would just make little cute strawberries strawberry, yeah. with your finished yeah, dish strawberry. Put, yeah, that would be cute. And this, yeah, just even to hang off the end of your scissors or, or anything. It's just, it's yeah, cute. they're just super cute. And then that was... Um, and then some floss drops and so we're trying to keep with the cardinal theme in the winter so um, kind of you can put your floss through here and on the back it's got the uh, in the type the floss the floss type and the color and yeah so it's just kind of a organizational um, tool and then you can bling this up with uh, other things. Oh, she's got oh, she's got hers all blinged up. This was other stuff that was like one to twelve, but it's kind of fun now. Yeah, <laughs> we can make some more stuff. That was twenty five. That's moss weeks. Out of all the greens, I probably used moss the moss most. I really love that color. It's very nicely variegated. Yes. And um, it's kind of a mossy green, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's very it's just So I thought I'll give you some. this one because oh. I counted out of order. <laughs> yeah, and then um, these are hand painted needle minders um, from Columbia. Um, it's a company that I carried other things from them, and so you got a variety. Like some were oh I don't know what we all had, trucks and houses trucks and, and barns yeah. and unicorns and pin cushions. Um, cupcakes yeah just a variety of things um, but yeah these are hand painted in Colombia mm -hmm. I have a customer who's um, familiar with this company and she goes to Colombia more often and so she uh, said did I want anything designed there so we did the needle minders and then we also did some of the buttons too so yeah very cute so yeah, that, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was the end of the advent box. So It was fun. Yeah. I, I mean, I knew stuff that was in it, yeah. but I was still like, like my husband would say, oh, are you going to open? Are you I said, no, every day I just like getting up in the morning, I would sit down and open up the bag. And <laughs> now I kind of see why it's like fun just to open a little package every day. Yeah, like, it, it doesn't just, have to be anything yeah, special even, it was I guess. Fun. Yeah. But everything, like, it's so... It's useful. Yeah, right? Did you watch Mama Loves You GB with the house, with the... Of the what did oh, she yeah, call yeah. the children? The, oh my gosh! Yeah, <laughs> the, I don't know. yeah the uh, jailed children yeah, or something. That yeah, was kind of funny, but her turns yeah. make me laugh every time. Yeah, but that even, was a funny one. Yeah, yeah, even though that the advent house itself was just a cardboard mm. thing, just opening the little door to see what was cute. behind. And her pictures. humor is so—it's funny, <laughs> right? Every time she opened them. Yeah, we so. both watch you religiously. If you ever watched this, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, we watch her for yeah. sure. Um, okay, so that was the advent box. You want me to and put, then, yeah, you put can it put in those box. away. Pardon the ring thing for a and second. And then um, I made, I had shown you last week that I had embroidered this ornament um, for two of my children who just got married. Um, and so now I finished it. So I used Vanna Pfeiffer's circle finishing. Um, Although I did not pad the back. She sometimes pads the back, but just cut some circles out of the... Oh my goodness, no, I can't think of what the name of it is. It's not foam core, it's the, the harder Bristol board type of thing. And then I made the cording, but I said to Shelby, like, mine really started unwinding. So it's not as tight of a turn. Like, I really wanted it to be yeah, more like that mm -hmm. than the other side. So I got to get her to show me a trick. Although you say you wind yours more. I wind mine pretty tightly. I just started doing it too. I wanted to do it for that autumn pin drum. And I just, I thought well, I was going to buy one of those. Um, yeah, and I have real one. And they are nice. It. Yeah, yeah they are because you just pick it up out of your So drawer. a little hint, I just used my drill and put a stick on it. And you can just hook it to hooks and use the, the cordless drill to do it. But I did it. Almost similar to hers, but mine came right unraveled, and then I did it extremely tight, and so by the time I put it around the top, it was a much tighter than this. It hadn't come yeah. that loose. Because I can get it to stay tight, and then you put a knot, like at the one end, mm -hmm. and then they said, oh, to rub it, and then you put a knot, but at the other, then but mine still just, yeah, it still relaxes, unwinds itself, yeah. yeah, so I think I need to overwind mm -hmm. it. And then that will maybe get me back to where I need to be. Um, so this, oh yeah, I was going to tell you. So this is a free pattern that um, I look back to see. It's a free pattern. I'll post the um, the name below. Um, but it's called Joie, Joie Noel 2018. Oh, Joie Noel. Yeah, Joie Noel. And the author is Rosalind Petet. Um so it, you'll find it several times. I mean, you can go on Pinterest and the design is there. Um, but it was really cute. So so that's where I got that from. So that was one finish that I had. Oh, and this is another because these are things you've already seen, but I just fully finished them. So this is the Silent Night one. So I put the star on the top and then just some raffia. And then I used the beads that were originally on this house thing and put that on there so this was part of the three in this trio year. trio religious trio religious trio i think by primrose mm -hmm. primrose cottage we should write down the titles i know i I'm have it sorry. in a book and i was <laughs> yeah and i was really good uh with that and then yeah because oh like i'm bad for mm -hmm. following up like you know same with my linen drawer mm -hmm. like Oh, yeah, I need a piece of linen. Okay, I'll pick out a bunch, and then I pull it out, and I use a piece of it, and then I forget what it was. Like, I have the name on the bag. So I started putting in marker on the, at, like, on the selvage. Oh. So that way, if I cut a piece out, as long as I don't cut the selvage, at least it'll always tell me what the linen original was. piece was. Yeah. I used to just remember it, but I think with cross-stitch, I'm just getting such a collection, I'm starting to forget some of the yeah. stuff. but. I started writing it on the back of my projects. So this was this pattern that Shelby had shown me last week or last time. And it was, uh, what's it called? Paws Under Pause the Tree under by the tree. Manny De Donna. So I finished mine really simply. I don't do too much. I'm not a bow maker. So yeah, it's, it's, it's got enough going on in the design. So I just, um, oh, I see something coming in and I have to fix it. <laughs> Um, I just drew a picture and gave my husband some measurements and he just cut this wood. Um, we have an entire uh, like ocean trailer full of wood because we had to remove one of our bridges on our property. So it's all uh, Douglas fir. So I'm going to have them. Well, he did already cut some and Marlene can keep them in the shop. We just can't shift them because they're heavy. They're solid wood and they stand on their own. Like So they look really good on my fireplace mantle. But mm -hmm. So that's that one. It was just cute. And it's fusion paint uh, cranberry. It's the nicest rustic red for most of the cross stitch. Like three seven seven eight goes really good with it. Oh okay, yeah, so, yeah. So that's that one. I didn't bring in the pattern back for this, but I showed you it twice, I think. But this was the Teresa Kogut Strutton. 
So I just framed yeah. it in this little frame. No, that's a really cute frame for it. Yeah, these frames, they've got them back there right now. I was there this morning. What is that, Michael's? <laughs> it's, um, what's the, uh, Winner's Home Sense. Oh. The winter's last, they're like six ninety nine, and they're solid wood. Like, they're really nice. And they're deep. Like, and, yeah, I could stick my finger. Like, that's probably yeah, an inch it's, deep. Yeah, it's oh, at least deep, an inch deep. Because it's yeah. mitered on the edge here. But it's, they're cute. And I mean, mm -hmm. you can put a pretty big... It's five by seven, I think, but it comes with an inner mat if you want it smaller. But it was yeah. really cute. And yeah. again, it stands on its own. I just like everything to just stand on my skinny yeah. little mantle. Yeah, so. you can hang it up if you want, yeah. but at least this yeah. way. Yeah, they come with it, and they come in gray, white, and black, I think. so. Yeah. Oh, before <laughs> we go any further, we forgot to mention what the quilt behind us was the last oh. time. Um, so it's called Festive. Mm -hmm. Who is it by again? Taylor? Oh, no, Holly Taylor. Yeah. Um, it was, and then it's Winter, uh, wishes, winter wishes fabric line, which was from last year, not this winter Christmas. The, the, the cranberry before. color in this matches her line that she came up with this year too, though. So yeah. it's, but it's such a pretty quilt. Yeah, yeah, I just love it, and it just works so well mm -hmm. um, in here on um, behind my yeah. dresser and stuff. So yeah, so that's the quilt if you're wondering what it was. Um, another finish I did was, um, I did the Joy of the Shepherd's Bush bag series, which I didn't realize that it came with two other little projects um, in it. Or did I stick? We were looking all over for the little project. <laughs> and it's I stuck it in the bag, which makes the most sense. So this one, I you can put it on a scissor. It's but tiny. I didn't want to do the cording because I wanted to make sure that I could get the cording uh -huh. right. Or, yeah, maybe I'll even put a little chain through it or something. Mm -hmm. So a teeny mm -hmm. tiny little pillow. And then this other little pillow went with it. So I just put some chenille. Well, it's actually yarn around the edge for the joy. And then this is the bag. This one was really easy and quick to do. I Well, and I think same thing. You kind of get used to how it works because you have to go over two holes. And it's just way more than you're used to. Yeah, it's and it's not like holes. linen. So, um, so, yeah, it takes a bit. But this one, actually, if you wanted to try one, this is probably the easiest one to do because there's not a lot of colors and stuff with it. But, yeah, it's just really cute. Um, she suggests using like um, uh, pearl cotton. I use six strands of embroidery thread. I just found a, a DMC um, embroidery thread that I think she's got it listed on here anyways. Yeah, yeah. 902 and 3011 for the green. And so, yeah, so I, I figured it didn't need variegated um, over dyed or anything for that. But that was... I really, I loved doing that. That was, that was lots of fun. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. Some of them it don't quite show like the, the color very. No, like sometimes, because she's got a new one out winter, which is also really pretty, but there's, mm -hmm. there's quite a bit going on in there. And um, yeah, you do have to kind of, you can't do a hoop, of course. So you have to do it in hand and it's, yeah, a bit of where you got to squish your hand to get it close to where you're yeah. stitching. So it's not for everyone. Um, so is that all our, oh, this finish? Oh, yeah. We weren't sure if we've shown this before. Did I do something with the pattern? Um, I think so. Yeah. So it's Christmas, it's the Christmas Berry from Erica Michaels. We had the pattern in front of us, so we're not sure where it went. <laughs> but it's a pretty cute, uh. Yeah, it's a cute design. And we did it on the Petite Point. Yeah. Um. You can see the pattern. Linen, kind of so you can see the little circles yeah. of snowy it's kind cute. of look. But yeah. And we had several customers that top. actually did that one. I think, yeah, it's They're just fun. cute. Mm -hmm. Brought another one out. Haven't done one in a while, so I figured I got to do another. Yeah, one. And I think I do strawberries. I get in the strawberry kick and do a few, and then... yeah, because they work up pretty quickly, yeah. often and stuff. The so. mousse took a little while, I think, for this one, but yeah, they're getting easier now. <laughs> um then um what are whips that we're working on oh is that spool behind you at all or not the wood spool yeah so i'm working um i'm going to the retreat the annabella's um 
retreat. That's basically next week, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's yeah. next week. This weekend's next um, week. So Sweetwater Stitcher and somebody else that's going there as well decided that they were going to do a sal um, starting at the retreat, I believe. I've started sooner, but I thought the idea was kind of neat. So they're going to be working on um, Heart and Hand, Big Hearted Tiny Town. So then when I was saying to Shelby, like, oh, like, yeah, I think you made the suggestion because I thought, oh, what am I going to do? And then she said, oh, I wonder if it'll fit around the spool. And then every different season or whatever, you can change out the little thing on your scissor holder. So, and then she made the suggestion also to, to use a brown, so kind of like chocolate. Um, so I started. This is peanut brittle. I love that. Um, this is by Leo and Roxy, which is a company in Canada. Um, they sell Leo and Roxy floss. I think they changed the name to just Roxy. Roxy floss. She dyes a couple linens as well. Peanut brittle is kind of one of her standards. Um, although I think you said she's having difficulty. Yeah, uh, I watched getting their video to... through the holidays too. Yeah. I watched a lot of floss too because of the weather. But uh, I think it was just they were talking about the difference in water and getting the right color tone. Yeah, she but... moved her studio um, to where um, Caroline has Evertote. Um, so I'm going to try the different colors on there and see how that turns it out. It looks green on there. It's very, it's, yeah, yeah it's, it's not green. Yeah, it's actually very close to um, Havana. It's, yeah. yeah, which here, this one looks greener, but it's very close to Weeks Havana. It's a beautiful, like I, that's my yeah. favorite. She brought me one back from uh, Stitch North last yeah, year. Yeah, because we had a I retreat, and so I bought some linen there. So I'm going to see how that goes, and I'll let you know whether mm -hmm. uh, that's going to look cute. And how I think it'll fit, mm -hmm. um, I'll have to see. Um, if not, then I just have to cut one house off the one end. Um, but I think the size is actually more generous than, like, I'm going to end up with space at the back, I think. Um, but, yeah. So mm -hmm. then, mm -hmm. after, if it works out, then I'm going to do seen that one Halloween <laughs> Tiny Town and Blooming Tiny Town. And then there's some more as well. I didn't realize I didn't have them all. There's Christmas, too. Um, yeah, Christmas. The and Halloween different ones. one is cute. Yeah, the Halloween's. Yeah, that's cute. that's cute. So, yeah, so I'm going to see if it'll work on that spool, and that'll be kind of a neat thing to change out. And then you can put some different colored scissors in there, depending on what oh, your design is. Oh, the Halloween is. one with those witch oh, boot yeah. scissors. Oh, yeah. Oh, so cute. Yeah, the uh, Kel Scott. Kel Scott is also a scissor manufacturer from... Alberta? Alberta, yeah. So oh, I carry... Quite a few of their mm -hmm. scissors, but they have the cutest pair that have um, witches boots on the end. And witches there's another one that has a spider, spider web. I have spider web at home. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that would look really cute. And, and I'm sure and they black. have heart ones too for Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah. They have pumpkin ones. Oh yeah, you there's pumpkin. pumpkin. Yeah, ones. there's pumpkin. So I'll have to look yeah. and see if they oh, so got some heart ones. <laughs> so <laughs> too many things. Oh my goodness, yes. Um. So yeah, what are so you? Cute. Oh, my whip. Yeah. This is my whip. I'm kind of boring because I work on one thing, but, um, oh. So I can show you this too. Marlene made me a couple bags for Christmas. This was the Teresa Kogut Halloween fabric. <laughs> so cute. She made me cry because <laughs> it was such a cute bag. I love it. <laughs> so I got my cat in here right now. So this is the pattern. We showed it. Yeah, see. with um, it's very tonal. Um, the France this French designer Martin, Martin Rijed. Yeah, Martin Rijed. Mm -hmm. And so I started it, and I got. Yeah, that it's bird is amazing see, on there. The it actually shows cute. up really well. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the only change I made was the birds, the darkest color of the bird, because they wanted black. But I did navy blue instead, oh. like a really dark blue. The black was almost too stark because that's supposed to be like a shadow on the eye, and it the blacks what it was harsh. Yeah, oh, so. so I just thought it looked nice because one of the grays is almost a lavender, but it's really yeah. cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be super cute when it's done. It's a super a lot of fill kitty. in yeah. there. <laughs> that big fat body. Yeah, it's cute though. I like it. Um. 
the next I'm working oh I didn't bring the pattern but the doodles I'm working on the winter oh, on the one. back there oh yeah I can show it off the back here so that's what it looks there so I've almost have it done um, I finally end up putting it in a hoop um, it's 36 count but I don't know for some reason I'm just having a bit of trouble um, jumping from one side to the other uh, and it's winter's beach brew, I think. I think it's beach brew. It's, it's pretty linen. Yeah, because we had talked about, like, this one's 36, but I'm going to be doing this one, too. And this one's 32, wow. um, country mocha, vintage country mocha. Um, so that will, I can whip this one up. And because they almost use the same colors, I might as well just do both of them at the same time. So that um, was another Super whip, cute. but... Oh, and then I'll show you my, um, for the retreat, I don't know whether we're supposed to show it or not, but I can't see why not. Um, it's not something that's available though, but it, it should be. Um, most retreat pieces, they let go for a year or so, um, but it's a really cute design. It says winter, there's a snowman and trees, um, but it's really, yeah, really cute. And I'm just using DMC. Um, I have to have that done for homework um, because I think they're going to be showing us how to do a finish for it for next week. That's yeah for <laughs> next week. So I got to get got to get going. Um, and then this one I had shown too, um, but then when I was stitching it, when because that's his head. When I was stitching it, I looked at the pattern and thought the pattern doesn't have that snowflake in his hat. And I, because I thought, like, wow, that hat looks really plain. And I thought, you know, I was thinking, okay, what can I hang off of it? And I know in the pattern, she's already got, like, a little snowflake hanging, a gold little snowflake hanging off the top. So I contacted her, and she sent me um, a file with a hat with a snowflake. So that means... I'm going to be doing some picking. Now, I wonder if I can overstitch... I wonder how Let's that see. would work. I don't know. It's pretty tight. It's tight. Yeah. yeah I don't so think I think would... I'll end up unpicking it, and then because I think it just it needs the snowflake, mm -hmm. and then yeah, the body is you know pretty yeah. full coverage too. So, and I make the mistake every time. I shouldn't do this. Like I think I I'm pretty sure I double and triple check that I got enough space <laughs> between here, and I do that more often where I don't end up having any space to turn it under. I and I thought, know. why are you doing that? Like, just use the other half of the linen. So I may just start and do it over here. So yeah, I've got you know enough. What? I think one of those white buttons we got in the advent calendar. Yeah, in the actually, yeah, too. you could probably just. Put yeah, away, I probably could right get away. Size, yeah, and yeah. then you could just stitch it again if you wanted to. Yeah, that's true. I, I wouldn't have picked. That's pretty tight. That stitching, is. Yeah. yeah, and my stitches actually look pretty. They good look in really here. good. <laughs> actually, I they thought that right away. They don't always look really good, but it's, that actually looks pretty good. They so. do look really nice. I would just put a white so, button there. Yeah, that's true. That actually would look really mm -hmm. cute. Yeah, there you go. So. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's a cute pattern. I think it'll be cute finish. Mm -hmm. um, so these are just some of the things that I'm taking with to, to work on. I, my eyes are bigger than my what my hands can do, but um, of course you don't want to go and not have enough to work on. Mm -hmm. But and I really like that idea that twelve. Did you hear about the twelve by twelve? On New Year's Eve, you start at twelve noon and you go till twelve midnight, and each hour you work on a new project. Mm -hmm. You can work on a whip too, but. And I may I have to start them because I only have yeah one yeah project. you only have one project. Although I have that Santa clothes. It's the only other current whip that yeah I did find the white red and I don't know if I just I have one pair of pants on it to do when it's done and I oh yeah so yeah you got to get on it's that so you got cute. marching orders <laughs> yeah it's so cute and I just I don't know why I haven't finished it but yeah you kind of lose interest when it's all I should have worked on it today when I was going through all the patterns because you said oh, to pick yeah. <laughs> So I may, I mean, I'm not going to do, because um, we leave to go to Florida on New Year's Day, um, so I don't think it'd be a good idea to stitch that much the day before. I already have a hard time staying awake driving. Um, but I may 
I may, you know, start 12 things for January. I might be able to start because I got these all pulled today. Yeah, so, so we're going to show you some of the, yeah. And today. Um, so, yeah, so then that comes, I'm, oh, well, I'm, I'm just going to show. that so bad. <laughs> um, this was, oh, I forgot to bring the pattern. This is a Patch Abilities runner that I'm kidding up. So I just finished them. It, it needs all buttons here. There's like three buttons for the holly up here, and then there's buttons here, there's buttons for his mouth. Um, so I just have to sew in the buttons, but I thought he was super cute, and it's just all grays. It's stitch, uh, quilt as you go, so he actually, yeah, it's one at each end. Um, For any of so, you guys that have, like, bought the wall hangings from Marlene, the kits yeah. that she does, like, this one's gorgeous. It really is. They're yeah. all cute, but this one's gorgeous. It's yeah. got metallic in the silver. Yeah, in the fabrics and stuff. Yeah, yeah it was a fabric line that we got. Um, patch abilities are just very simple. Like she has mm -hmm. one for every season and she's got multiple for each season. And so we have a whole collection hanging on the wall in the mm -hmm. shop and they're just quick and easy, little tiny wall hanging. So a lot of people mm -hmm. say too, you don't have a lot of wall space, mm -hmm. but you've got, cause literally they're six inches by 15 or so. Mm -hmm. So they fit in tiny little places in your bathroom like or whatever. Like in a door jam, between two yeah, door jams yeah. and stuff. It's cute. Just have that long, skinny. And they're just simple um, mm -hmm. machine applique. You can do um, hand applique too. But um, yeah, just simple applique that way. Did you do kits um, on the, that one? Yes, okay. I'm doing kits. I haven't figured out the price yet. Mm -hmm. I've almost, I mean, some women were in this morning and they would have bought one if I had a kit done, but I didn't. So. I'm tempted. Yeah. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just, I've got everything cut now. So tonight I'll just figure out a price and, um, yeah, so I'll do that. Yeah. Um, so then I guess it's, what have we got this is kitted one of my or right now. what do we want to work on? Oh, I'm going to do a few yeah. other things here first. So I guess we could give this away for, mm. yeah. Um, <laughs> this is the new um, Teresa Colgate Stitchy Birds. I don't have the whole line. These are the bolts that I have. Oh yeah, and I, um, Shelby's got her, I made some project bags out of it. Um, but yeah, as our giveaway. Um, she made another one for me. Yeah, so it's so cute. Yeah, and then it's got time to stitch and and needle and thread and different things. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so for our giveaway um, for the next bit, because I'm gonna be gone for three weeks, so when I come back, um, we'll give away a bundle of um, Stitchy Birds fabric. Cute. So what are the, what's the key word are we going to use? What's your favorite Stitchy? spring bird? Oh yeah, we can do that, yeah. Or winter bird. Winter bird, yeah. yeah. What's your favorite winter bird? Um, so yeah, the winner of that, we'll get that. And while we're on <laughs> winners, I was just um, going to say, I'm trying to think of the name. <laughs> the, um, wool, that was from our last, um, video. The winner is Stitching with Nancy. Um, I will email you because I already have your email, um, because you signed up for the advent box and the letter initial thing. Um, I did a G at that. Because Giovanni, I guess I didn't know if that was a guy or a What's girl's name. Husband's Giovanni. Giovanni. So I must have assumed it was a girl's <laughs> name. So anyway, I will stitch her an end too. So it just so happened when her name came up, I said, hey, this works because I already have to send something out to her anyway. So Nancy, this is for you. And I will try and get that initial done um, soon. Okay, so that is all that. So yeah, so, so do you want to... winter bird. That was the... Word was winter bird. Winter, bird. yeah. Or, oh yeah, how are we going to do that? You're going to have to say winter bird in your answer along with the bird that you choose in order yeah, for me to to catch that. So maybe yeah. just the word bird yeah. will be the what we search. And yeah. then if you would like to answer the question, question tell yeah, us. Then it's winter bird. Because it's yeah. fun. We have so many different birds around here. So yeah, cool. we have all kinds of birds. I know yours is probably cardinal, right? Yeah, Cardinal, I mean, I we had the most beautiful woodpecker just out my sewing room window here. And I really like the look of woodpeckers, oh, but sure. man a living, they make a mess out of your trees yeah. or deck. We saved one not like a few weeks ago. It hit my window. Oh, it did it? But, oh, we they... thought it died, and I flipped it over, and I said, I don't know. It looks like it's just stunned. So my husband, I couldn't carry it out, so he came and picked it up. 
And as he was walking, he said it started squirming and then it just flew away. And then yeah. that was like, I'm going to say two weeks in a row, he'd come back to the same tree and he comes down at eye level to me. And it's like he's, he's <laughs> right there and I can almost touch him. It's one of those little downy black, they're black and white, super oh. pretty. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Yeah, so we have the big ones too that just destroy the tree all the way around. Yeah, they yeah, and they can start you know chipping away at your deck and stuff. Oh, so, really? Yeah, they do your deck. Wow. They're um, yeah, or sometimes yeah, at night when you're trying. Well, no, they're not out at night, but they they can be really noisy. You really they're think that somebody them. is you know nailing? Um, yeah. They echo in our forest. It echoes back yeah. to the house. Okay, so what? Um, so then we just thought we'd pull a few things of what we're, you know, what we maybe would like to work on. Um, I had so many. I I was saying to Marlene, I didn't think I had a lot of charts. Like I've only been doing this for a year and a half. <laughs> but <laughs> let's not share that with you know everyone, my husbands and stuff. But I ordered this kit because my old house that I had by myself um, was near Point Pelee. So we used to get the monarch migration and like my bushes and trees were covered and I just thought that would be a cute little reminder and I'm going to turn it into a magnet. I put all my magnets I make on my ductwork in my basement to make oh, it look yeah. nice. <laughs> and I did, um, we have in the shop one of the hearts I did, I did two of this, the hearts in this series so I never did this one. Um, oh, it's a blackbird pretty. design one. There's four of them. And I just, I haven't done this one. And it was my favorite one that I wanted to do. So mm -hmm. I really want to do this one for my um, dough bowl for Valentine's. I have a lot. I don't even well, know if this is I'll too show. many. Well, we'll just go through them quickly. So I have a bunch. Oh, this one is, I was saying, this is going to be my other valentine's for the oh, berries yeah, that's pretty i don't know if i've yeah. seen that one sweet that's berry. the one i dyed that brown fabric for oh, okay so that would look good with the peanut brittle or, that would look really good um, with peanut yeah because brown isn't normally a color that yeah. you stitch on just on general smalls but that's, the, yeah like the other um hearts are two-tone you have to sew them together and so the top one was a brown and i had oh. never seen the right brown so i just threw it in when i was dying oh, okay. for you Oh, but then, then I got that because I had extra. Mm -hmm. But the peanut brittle now would look nice. Like yeah, it's... or the Havana. Yeah. yeah. So then I have my blue flowers. I've had these two forever, and I want to start doing some, like, is this a sampler style? Not really, but. Well, they always say if it's got an alphabet or writing. And like that something. one. I have a lot of blue flower ones I want to do. And there's a hidden stitcher. Um, it's a group of stitchers. Um, that go to a retreat. She's working on one of the ones and it's gorgeous. So it kind of inspired me to start. And this is our affinity for having dogs always. And this beautiful pheasant. So that one's going to be... What's that one called? It says good dog. Oh, good dog. Yeah, so I'll have to do like two yeah. brown dogs. But my St. Bernard usually gets left out. And then my spring and summer is usually all strawberry related. So I got found this one I didn't even know I had yeah I'd like to do some of the it's strawberries cute. it's and... a little bunny with the oh, strawberry yeah. oh that is super cute so I try to transition my stuff from like you know Valentine's to Easter or like Easter so it all kind of goes yeah this one I got from you last year I haven't started it yet the house oh is... that yeah the, the house intimidates me a bit because it's a lot of pink and I'm not a real pink person and then is that all stitched? This is all stitched. Oh yeah. Oh, with the two, the two doves. doves. Oh yeah. So these are all these are cottage garden saplings. I've seen those before. This was the series that was out the year before the um, year in the woods started. So people oh, kind of forgot okay. about this one. But most people bought the turkey and the squirrel. Okay. These were the other months in that, and I had just bought them because oh, I thought okay. they were summery yeah. and. Yeah, because she has another bird series before that that I really like those two. So I was at, I came yeah. to see Marlene during the snowstorm to pick out some floss for this one, but I love this winter one. Yeah, that's the so primitive cute. hair. It's a different look. It's so like being in that cute. tree. It's super yeah, pretty. Very primitive. My dog slobbered right down the front of it today. I was so oh. upset. Look at it. But oh. 
Like my fault off. I shouldn't have left it out and then this is gonna be the biggest thing I've ever started but I really I've had it and I've been holding on to it so it's called Quaker Compass wrote is it Rosewood yeah. Manor yeah I like any of the Quaker stuff yeah. I, have, I don't think I've stitched anything so far it's but really, I really cool. like it I didn't realize that inside the book she gives you like suggestions on how to make this as a whole thing so you could use it oh. as an ornament and stuff like that so it's mm -hmm. cool I might she's also an amazing designer like yeah. what she comes up with every time for markets and yeah I'm trying to pick stuff that I can actually put up in the house you know mm -hmm. and then this is my favorite one it's for, I don't think I've seen that one either. you ordered this one for me oh did I <laughs> yeah oh I must have only ordered this one market that was oh. market last year in Lela's studio or Lila's stu studio oh yeah yeah, you ordered it. Oh, I did. Didn't even. Yeah, yeah. I must have so ordered really one. So that one's really pretty. So I, I almost started it because I did did actually own, have all the flosses at home, but I saw somebody did it in that Vicky Clayton silks. Oh. And it is stunning. So I'm kind of thinking I might save up and buy myself the silks oh, the for my silks birthday. For that. <laughs> but I've never stitched in silks, and I'm not even no. that fancy. But the colors were just so oh, pretty. Oh, makes a big difference. Here, I'll, I can do a few on my end here. Yeah. Um, I just thought I would do some Valentine's. Up. So this is a crochet a go, go and it's just a free download for a Valentine chart. Oh, and I thought, I really like the crochet a go, -go. I mm -hmm. was always going to, I mean, I've signed up to be a wholesale. I'm just, I just never sat down and put an order in that mm -hmm. I really like. So, And I might do it on um, a charcoal oh, black, so I'll see. And I'm going to try and use, since I kind of tried the white sulky, oh, yeah. I'm going to see whether I can do the white sulky. I love this one. This pattern, yeah, oh, it just, amazing. it came out. Um, so it's Winter's Peace Sampler Artful Offerings. Um, so yeah, I love this. So I thought, okay, so I did pull like DMCs for it. But then I also thought, oh, I'm going to see, that because there is, yeah, so some of the weeks, um, I think, would look houses. really nice yeah i forget really what cool. i i actually pulled i think they were the same ones that was used for what's uh rosewood manor that one that everybody's stitching just get a task oh yeah just get a task it so because i pulled those are pretty battleship um blue jeans jaybird and fathom mm -hmm. but um but yeah, I think that would look that really would look nice. Really good yeah, because yeah. I think for this one, I think the variegation. I mean, it looks nice. It, I mean, this is doesn't look like a true. Um, this looks like a generated um, copy. Um, but I think the variegated. No, actually, I think the houses are thick enough that the var variegation. Yeah, will give gonna, it some yeah. Value. So and then I'll use I'll use some DMC for the trees and that because there's really I mean you're not going to see variegation in there. But yeah, yeah I really I like that one. To start that one, and then since St. Patrick's Day is coming Aww. up, I thought, oh, I'm gonna just stitch this quick little pillow from Primrose. I thought you did that so, one already. No, I pulled it out every time. I still <laughs> haven't done it. So we have some of this green fabric, um, Indigo Garden, and the two greens that she calls for actually matches the fabric really well. Because like mm. I said I often will pull a fabric and then switch out the DMCs to match the fabric, yeah, but this worked out really good. well. So, and then I might see if I've got some little pom-pom. I like that little pom-pom trim that they yeah. have on there. So that's another, that's and, the, and these are fun because they're, they're so quick. Yes, and yes, stuff. yes. Yeah. Those and are then cute, Teresa Kogad, I like, I just have always liked this. I love her chubby Santa. This poofy, yeah, uh, Santa. And so I thought he would look really nice on her, that Havana straw. It's not as oh, orangey gold as this one, but it the, is a gold. Oh, that's straw. Okay. Yeah, so I thought it would look nice. It's just something different. I think that's one of my goals kind of for next year, too. Try different colored linens mm. and um, different projects that way just I to kind of see the look. The one I did on the gingham fabric was supposed to be on straw. Oh, was it? That is a nice oh. color. I didn't. I thought it looked really like oh, yellowy oh, yeah, in the picture, kind of... but that's actually quite a nice color. Mm hmm so I can't even think of what one I did I showed it like a week ago oh yeah. remember it was on the the gingham yeah fabric but I don't 
<laughs> yeah, I forget too now what that was. I get so lost in my, my bin. I just start going through the stuff oh. and then, yeah. Oh, I know. So this is another blue flower. That's really cute. It's called The Color Winter, and I just really like the saying on it. And it says... The color of springtime is in the flowers. The color of winter is in the imagination. Oh, it's super cute. Yeah, that is. That border is really pretty. Yeah. I like stuff that can turn. I am diehard love of winter. So it's like, oh. I, if I can keep that out and it's nice spring colors. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I can have it out all winter and spring. I can yeah. do it. And everything has to have trees because our property is called the Barking Forest. So this one's really cute. Yeah, that is cute. I really, I think there was a whole bunch of floss tubers that were doing that amongst the trees, that really big one. Oh, yeah. Far too intimidating for me. So this one I thought yeah, was a no, nice. Yeah, no, that one is very pretty. It says there's always music amongst the trees in the garden, but our hearts must be very quiet to hear it. Oh, that's I pretty. I thought it was pretty. Mm -hmm. I never used to be into sayings all of a sudden with cross stitch. <laughs> I'm like, that's so nice. <laughs> This one's another. I didn't realize all these ones had sayings on them. This is a companion piece for one that um, uh, Steph from Pam and Steph, she just finished the air. She's almost finished the other piece. Oh, okay. So it says, in a perfect world, you would find me here with the birds and the flowers and the dogs and the deer. And I'm going to change oh. flowers to horses. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that's cute. And Marlene ordered yeah, me this one. Yeah, I, I love that this one too. This is probably going to be my next. I have done so many trees of COVID. I just saw her name at the top. Uh, yeah. So my next start when I'm done the cat is either going to be this one because I would love to have it done for Easter. Mm -hmm. Or that I'm still on that winter moth one. I'm trying to tra put some oh, blues instead of black. Trying to but, figure out the colors oh for that. Gosh. That was a Kathy Barrick, her new mm -hmm. one. Oh, that's right. Uh, this is winter, trees of COVID. Yeah, winter Kathy moth. Barrick. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. So I, I was staring at it. I thought we've shown it. I'm not going to bring it, but yeah, it's a it's toss up between nice. these two. Because isn't this cute with the bunnies? I know. She, like, when oh I was at um, Needlework um, last year, she had it, st it was started on the wall, but it wasn't finished. But yeah, oh, I loved cute. it too. Yeah, I thought it was so cute. So um, cute. Besides that, I just have a couple. I, I thought like I maybe wanted to do something seasonal um so i still never did anything with them um, this is brenda gervais seasons of the heart her booklet with her four which i really like they're very muted and gentle quiet my style and stuff do a stitch along but um but i also um liked mm. these I like the snowman too, the snowman and some of them the now if you could do them as a whole piece but, um, yeah, the snowman's cute. And maybe I'll just oh, end up doing a couple or, or so. Um, but, yeah, there's so so many ones I want to do. Like, I, I still want to do Farmhouse Christmas. I still want to do Fall on the this Farm. This one would be cute as a flip book. Like, if you did them and finished oh. them with two holes, and then each month you just flipped yeah, it. Yeah, Because it's it. a nice square. Yeah. That would be so oh, cute. Yeah. I think you should do that. <laughs> the, yeah, if you could find a, like, buy one of those photo book things. And, yeah, or yeah, even, like, rings. you really just need a triangle, like, a piece of wood, and we could drill two holes, holes in it And then put the rings. And, and then you just put the rings, and you'd flip it back. It just has oh. to be tall enough to flip Yeah, it's around. just, well, I guess you put it, like, yeah, maybe attach piece, something yeah. up there with some grommets or something that mm -hmm. you could put through. Yeah. That would be really cute because of the size cute. of it. And then it's almost like a calendar, but yeah. without the And numbers. these <laughs> actually would look really cute on perforated paper, too. Mm -hmm. uh, you could, um, Who is this? This is Hands-On hands -on design. design. Yeah, which I, I yeah. like her stuff in that, too. It is cute. So kind of debating, you mm -hmm. know, do I, don't I? I probably won't. You should but... do a stitch along with those because it's four seasons. Yeah, there's four so seasons there. So it would give people there. three months to do each season. Yeah, now... Right? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, um, you'd have to like for us, we'd have to switch up the candy, yeah. Fly. So I'd have to chart that mm -hmm. a little bit differently, but otherwise, yeah, they're very nice, very quiet. I do want to do her bunny to that little bunny, which I probably should work on first. Is he st sitting in a cloche or something? No, no, he's bunny? got a fuzzy tail. Oh, um, but yeah, the little bunny, um, and then. The, I pulled a few of the wool patterns um, at Primitive Gatherings. 
Um, she's just, oh, and I was going to grab a few more because she does have some other ones that I might have shown. But these are just some of the ones that, yeah, came out. I don't know when they came out, but I just got access to them. So, um, yes, work towards next year. Um, but this one's cute, just reindeer games, table mat, kind of a cute little design. This one's an angel tree skirt. Um, I need the little table mats, like I need a little one to go under the um, wool. We made a wool tree. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and just yeah. some of the other little trees that you kind of hang your little ornaments oh, on. I just it. need a small, like, small table mat. Is that a small? Oh, it's 18. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just 18, 18 by 18 inches, so it fits really nice that under a small. nice on the wool tree. Yeah. yeah, just with the wool tree. Um, this one was three little gnomes. It's kind of cute, too, just on some gray fabric and... Little gnomes. <laughs> um, some people are worth melting for. So this is all cut out wool and then stitched on, which doing that lettering would be a, a little, yeah, yes, it, it wouldn't be a beginner. <laughs> no. um, I think, yeah, to embroider it, you'd have to get, yeah, it'd have to be some thick thread. I, I mean, I, I'm assuming that's how she did it. This one's easier. This is just peace, love, joy. Um, with That's just large pieces of wool and stitched around. So that would work out quickly. But yeah, it looks really it's pretty. cute though, yeah. Yeah. Um, Baker's Dozen holiday ornaments and just some little ornaments that... I mean, if you're a wool applicator and if you buy your wool pieces, like you end up with a lot of scraps. Just because wool's expensive, you don't want to throw anything out. Where normally you would throw that little corner out, you tend to keep it all. And so um, I do. I did start bagging a lot of it, and I'll put it in the shop to sell because yeah, it's just a bag full of a lot of small pieces that would work really well for doing ornaments. This one's another one. Ornaments from the old green cupboard. I really like that snowman on there, and there's a little sheep that's cute too. So. But those are, yeah, some of her latest patterns for wool. Okay, I don't know. Your we... strawberries? Or your, sorry, hearts? Oh, yeah. So, um, I just kitted this up. So this I'm going to work on and stitch. Um, the valentine, the little hearts. Um, so I've got the wool cut. And I just got to find my thread. Um, to do it because they use a variegated uh, pink and red thread, but very simple and quick. These are from the Woolen Needle, uh, which is a shop in Iowa. Mm -hmm. um, but that should be, yeah, really cute. Yes. And uh, these look super cute, cute like putting it in a dough bowl with some other Valentine oh, or other red stitching, things. Yeah. yeah. So that's um, what I'm planning on doing for that. Look cute with that for sure. Yeah, so so that's kind of my plan as well. So we got a few other today for I them too. That was cute. Yeah, there's some other yeah. uh, points the that uh, yeah, ones. they have yeah. some cute. Yeah, and I'm hoping to work on a quilt kit yeah. that I got from them with the oh. diamond textile fabrics. Um, it should be cute. Lots um, of new wool coming. Then, like new kits. Yeah, yeah, I'm hoping to get some of them stitched up and, um, yeah, kitted and, and stuff so that, yeah, it gives people a little more variety of, you know, buying mm. some kits. Um, yeah, so I'll kind of wrap up my projects, see, you know, many I'm going to take with me to work on, but yeah, I don't want to run out. So, um, and I'm sure I'll buy some stuff at the retreat too, probably. Mm -hmm, yeah. Annabella's, um, she started designing um, some charts and stuff too, so I'll see what she has and yeah, go from there. That'd be um, fun. Yeah, 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 so yeah, and I don't think, I think there's too much going on. I think we have the big retreat, the Stitch North, because otherwise mm. I would really like to do that retreat with Teresa Cogan in oh, Michigan, yeah, because that's close by, but um. I think that it's just be, too yeah. busy, too busy of a time to go. When is that one? I think it's April 28th to the 30th. And I think Stitch North is that same Oh, they did April weekend. and May. I keep yeah, April May. and May, yeah. 
So, and I think I, and I have a cult show before that in St. And Mary's. And bus trip. <laughs> and yeah, and we're doing a mystery bus trip in February, the end of February. Yeah. So yeah, it'll be a little bit busy. And then Needlework Market's in there in March. Yeah, that's Nashville. Um, Nashville. So, so yeah, lots going on. Uh, I think we all kind of need that little bit of excitement going on. And, and I need that stimulation to kind of get my acting gear and <laughs> and get going on some things so so yeah we'll have lots to show you when we come back um i'm hoping that at the retreat i might see if i can videotape a little thing i yeah i should be able to download it on youtube still i would think yeah. yeah internet right yeah i'll have to see otherwise i will put it on um pastime stitches um stitchers um Facebook page and you can watch and see. I'll try to take pictures of what other people are working on because everybody always likes to see what other oh, people are working sure, yeah. on. So, okay. So till next time, um, we'll uh, yeah have a good New Year. Happy New Year, yeah. Yeah, happy New Year's, <laughs> and we'll see you um, the end of January. End of January, beginning January, of February. Yeah, maybe. somewhere in there. So okay, talk to you All later, right. everyone. Take care. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs>